Well, a FedEx freight truck just showed up and with a crate, a crate that says Continental on the sides. Engine model, IO340. There we go. Just right off the factory floor, February 21st, 24. So I guess I'll bust out the crowbar and get this thing opened up. Make sure it's not broken in half or anything crazy. Uh, the crate looks pretty good. There's just a small amount of little damage here, but that ain't nothing. So I'll get her opened up and let's take a look and see what's inside here. Getting that lid off was no joke. I don't know if there's an easier way and I just didn't do it or what, but I got her off. There is just nails and nails and nails and nails. There must be 75 nails holding that lid on. All right, I'm out of breath from whacking that thing. Well, they got it wrapped up in plastic. Let's get in here and... Ooh. Wow. They said, they told me it was gonna be pewter colored, silver. I didn't know what, I mean, I knew it was gonna be silver. I didn't know what shade, but that's perfect. That's gonna go good with, I mean, I, it could have been yellow for all I care. Just the fact that I'm getting this thing is, I'm happy with, but that'll go good with the uh, gray paint scheme I'm gonna do. This must be desiccant, yeah. So, yeah, I mean, there we go. Here's our initial our initial look at it looks good. I'll have to make sure everything is in here. All the other bits and pieces I'll go through and just run a little inventory, but uh, there we go. So I ordered this when I, the day, well, not maybe a week or so after my kit arrived. So it would have been in February. Well, it might've even been March of 23, a year ago. Well, exactly a year ago. So it's March 1st, 24 right now, and I'm receiving the engine. So it was um, about a year. Um, this I was supposed to wait a little bit longer. There is a story behind how I got this engine. Um, I'm not sure if I want to talk about it. There's a little bit of drama that happened between myself and Continental and Rand's. It's kind of a ridiculous story, to be honest with you, but uh, I'll just say this. There is a person out there. I don't, not the person that, okay. <laughs> well, here's, here's the gist of it. Uh, there's, there's two people that I'll reference in, in two different scenarios that I'll reference in this very quickly. Um, one, there was a builder that was unable or didn't want to take delivery of their engine when it was gonna come due. So they got with Rands and ended up working out that I got that engine slot. So that's how I got this engine, roughly nine months to a year, I think, ahead of schedule. That's that, and to that person, thank you. Um, I know who you are, I appreciate it. Helping me keep the aircraft on schedule and maybe have this thing flying in less than a year. There's another person, and I'm not really gonna get into the details. There's another builder a Rand's customer who tried to interfere <laughs> with me and my engine and Rand's. And to that person, uh, I don't know who you are, but I know you exist because I was informed by Rand's of you. Um, what your end game was, I have no idea. I think what you did was bullshit. Um, and I'll just leave it at that because there's no point. I don't I don't really want to introduce drama into this channel. It's not what this channel's about, but I did feel the need to mention that. So enough of that. Um, what I'm really excited about is soon I get to hang an engine on this thing. And uh, that's good news because the right wing I just finished last week. I'm not sure if this video is going to come out before the wing, the right wing episodes have come out. So if it does, and you're seeing that wing there and this wing here, that's what that's all about. What that means is the build is done. Um, for all intents and purposes, the build is complete. All of the things that need to be made 
have been done. Wings are done, flight controls are done, fuselage done. Now it's firewall forward systems and all the little things that take just as long as all of that took. But at least I can get going on that because I've got the engine. Well, let's, let's go back in here and, and kind of take a look at what I've got going on in this uh, crate. I went ahead and took off the crate side so we could get a better look at it. I tell you, that crate is durable. That thing was held together. But here we go. Here's an, uh, a little bit better look at the engine. Not bad. It's kind of hard to believe that these are $50,000 for essentially 70, 80 year old technology, <laughs> but it is what it is, I guess. One thing I don't understand, and I guess this is just coming from my background and what I do, for 50 grand, can Continental at least CNC bend the fuel lines from the servo to the cylinder heads? Like, come on. These are hand bent and they're just curvy and going every which way. Uh, to me, that's a little bush league and tacky. If you're gonna charge me 50 grand, at least give me something that looks like it's tight and clean and machine made on every component. Everything else looks great, but the one thing you see is those stupid fuel lines doing that business, whatever. Uh, here we got the fuel servo uh, alternator. Flywheel is in that box, and then the dual light speed ignition components are all uh, in that box there. So there we go. Here's the paperwork, uh, logbook, uh, test verification certificate, and just look at some other technical data there. Okay, well, now I'll just have to get to work. I'll have to pull up the manuals and see what, what do I do first? Like, where do I even start? I have no idea. I haven't been focused on firewall forward for this whole build. I've been focused on getting all the components built out, which they are now. So I got to do the deep dive, get into the manuals, start reading, start looking at diagrams and figure out where do I start? What do I do next? They're probably, I need to probably go back to the fuselage uh, manual. There's probably some things, well, I know there are some things that I still haven't done on the firewall yet. I kind of stopped that last summer, so I'll, I'll pick up there, kind of get that done, and then catch up with the uh, engine manual and get going from there. So maybe within the next few weeks, we'll start seeing some content on uh, firewall forward stuff. Well, there you go. Thank you for watching.